Here's one of these spare edgelet displays I have for my edgelet clock I showed a little while ago. It's a type IND 0300 numeric indicator. It was manufactured for the General Radio Company by KGM Electronics Limited in England. You can see this particular one has never been used as the terminals have never been soldered. To access the incandescent bulbs, you just take out these screws in the corners. There's only two of them. Then pull this straight back. This is the common ground connection, or common positive. Either way, it doesn't matter. They're incandescent displays. And then you can access the bulbs, which all just kind of drop out, for the most part at least. Sometimes they get stuck. The markings are a little bit hard to read, and I'm not sure how well you can see them on the camera, but it says Vitality 14 volt, 0 0.08 amps, and then 732. If I'm remembering correctly, these bulbs have a rated lifespan of about 4,000 hours. So that's why I went to LEDs for my clock, because there's 8,000 hours in a year, and I would have been dealing with bulbs burning out in short order. At the bottom of each one of these slots, you can see a horizontal strip of acrylic. That's where the light gets into the light pipes to be fed to the front of the display. Now here is one of the very first electronic items I scratch built myself. It's a two transistor boost circuit I got off the internet back when white LEDs were brand new. So that's quite an early one there that I got from uh, Radio Shack. I'm just going to use it to light up the display. You can see it fits neatly in the holes there. You don't normally need to take these displays apart any further. You just need to remove that back piece to get at the bulbs. But I want to show you guys how these things are built, so I'm going to take it apart a little bit further. And to do so, you just got to remove these four screws here. Alright. Next, you want to carefully slide this cover off. Maybe spread it a little bit while doing so. Because I don't want to pull the acrylic pieces out. I just want to remove the uh, cover. It tends to kind of grip on them. These displays are pretty valuable, so I'd really hate to destroy one of these just in the course of uh, making a video. Thankfully I was able to slide that little foil piece back in there, though perhaps it's not as straight as it once was. See if I can straighten that out. There we go. Most Edgelet displays have simple, flat acrylic pieces, but the acrylic pieces in this one are quite complicated. You can see they have a number of precise bends, and they're also quite thin. Between each acrylic piece is a strip of foil with a black coating on it that prevents light going into one light pipe from lighting another. As you can see, only one acrylic piece lights up at a time, and there's really no appreciable light leakage from one acrylic piece to the next. They really thought this design out very well. The acrylic pieces do come out. I'm only going to take out this one just to uh, show you how they're made. I'm going to try to avoid getting any fingerprints on it, at least on these surfaces. You can see the holes are drilled from the back side, and the fronts are smooth. And they're uh, quite thin and light. You can see the foil separator there. I'm just going to carefully put that back.
The contacts are simple springy pieces of metal, and they are a little bit corroded. If I were to be using this with bulbs, I'd probably uh, clean that up a little bit. Well, thanks for watching.